shoulder day. Designated shoulder day. It's gonna be a shoulder master. We got Conrad, we got Conrad's boy, Andrew, who's my boy, Bev Francis. Time to grow. Uh, uh, uh. See, drop set's a great way, it's a great strategy to add intensity. But in the beginning, I feel like it's more important to focus on your power movements. Create that CNS activation that forces you to grow. And then as you fatigue, you start incorporating drop sets. That's my philosophy. Not saying that Conrad's way is wrong and I'm right. They're both right. It just depends on what your goal is. My goal is size. I think you get more out of lifting more. When it comes to size, you need heavy, heavy load. Not every set's gonna be heavy, but I wanna chase that shaky post set feeling at least one time per day. When that shakiness happens, that means the CNS is taxed. When the CNX is taxed, the brain sends a message to the body and it says, hey, release natural growth hormones because we need to go into survival mode. We need to adapt and get bigger in order to survive whatever this is. The body doesn't know if we're getting chased by a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex because we're primal creatures. So this is the way the body forces or the mind forces the body to adapt so that we can survive. Being attacked by a lion, heavy ass fucking shoulder press, whatever it is. And yes, I'm comparing this to being chased by a T-Rex, obviously. <laughs> so, but different. I've been known to have phenomenal shoulders. The secret to the shoulders are not so much the presses or the upright rows. They're more so focusing tons of energy and effort on dumbbell side raises or cable side raises. Any kind of lateral side raise, I feel is the king of deltoid movement. Now, of course, you need presses as well. I would say that presses is secondary. But if you do a combination of just dumbbell side raises with dumbbell presses, and if you do high volume, believe that the shoulders are uh -huh. The last video I told everyone, like, I'm so glad to be off the drugs. Like, what I mean by, like, being off the drugs means this. I was taking, like, nine or ten different compounds. All of them were fast acting and give you extreme mental anxiety and irritability and it was harsh stuff. So, after a show, what bodybuilders tend to do is they go through a four to five week rebound phase, which is they go back to their slower, less crazier drugs and focus on strength and size for four to five weeks and really bring up the calories. This way they rebound, build new muscle tissue, you know, because we were just in a survival state. We came down so lean. Now the body's like a sponge, soaks up all this fucking carbohydrates, all these proteins, all these fats, and it actually assimilates it very well. So, yeah, I'm not coming off all the drugs, but I went from nine to three to four drugs and uh, safer drugs. But then after about four or five weeks, I'll get off all drugs. And I'm gonna document and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it correctly, how to get your hormones back in alignment. Um, it takes a long time. So I'll probably be off of testosterone, of all testosterone, probably for about three months, maybe even four months and uh, show you guys how to train natural for a while. suggest if you have a girlfriend or a wife no matter what you have when you're on your way over or in my case home hey babe on the way home from the gym do you need anything and then you could look like this on the way into the house while you reach for your keys 
good gesture. Today, my daughter is six months old. It's her half birthday. That's a thing. Like, half birthday is a big deal for kids. Oh, old. You're six months old today. Your half birthday. You're so pretty. I prayed for you. And you're here and you're six months. We're so fortunate to have kids, you know. We had a lot of fertility issues, probably due to me with my bodybuilding career using steroids. And uh, my fertility was shot. So it actually took us two and a half years to conceive our son. And how many months did it take to have her? Two. Two months after we, after we first started trying. It only took us two months of trying afterwards. You want James? She's obsessed with you, bro. She does love you. Kids love James. Who's Santino? Yeah, he loves him. One of the things I've been craving, like more so than any kind of cheat meal, is just like a vegetable omelet, man. Like an egg white vegetable omelet. So over here, we have bell peppers with onions and a bunch of spinach. And uh, if I had low fat feta cheese, I'd put that on top. I don't have that at the moment. And then we're going to accompany that with just throw up on me. three quarter cups worth of old fashioned oats. And then we also eat 60 grams of blueberry, which I already ate. And uh, yeah, simple, effective breakfast, or in my case, meal number two. What are you going to eat today? Are you going to eat a cake? She's going to have a cake. We're going to. Yeah, they have fish. Hide? No, they're not scary. We're gonna see penguins, sharks, turtles. Bring it to the aquarium with us. Sweet potato, chicken, Brussels sprouts. We're gonna now take the next couple days to kind of like chill with the fast foods, uh, the dirty foods. We're gonna drink a lot of water because we do have a trip to Texas planned at the Rise headquarters. Do some training content. We want to look nice. We want want to look right. Although I look fucking pretty sick right now. I could look sicker. So uh, that's what we'll do. And then when we're in Texas, they're taking us out to eat a lot. So <laughs> I'll save my good eating for Texas. Some barbecue. Ugh. All right, keeping up with the theme of kind of detoxifying my body. I'm gonna drink four of these a day. So this is 50 ounces, drink four of them a day. If it's just normal water, it's not gonna taste well, dude. You probably drink two before you're like, yo, this sucks. Um, Rise new hydration sticks, super dope. This is their new flavor, which I'm not allowed to talk about yet, but by the time the video gets edited, hopefully no one catches on. Great Kool-Aid. You know, talk about, yeah, that's right, ooh. Talk about flavor from the past. <laughs> kind of reminds me of, what, elementary school Kool-Aid? No. Yeah, like when I was a little kid back in the 1960s. <laughs> 1960s. You think you're funny today. I am funny, I'm in a good mood. I'm off the juice. And then people are like, yo, you're not off the juice. I was like, yeah, but I went from 10 compounds to three. That's off the juice. I'm a lifelong natty, baby. And I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to bring my Polaroid camera to capture some photos of Santino. I charged it with a phone. Okay, great. I'm going to get some pictures of Santino. And we're meeting at the aquarium, my best friend. And he's got a two-year-old daughter himself. So her name is Liana. Super nice little family. Um, friend, not so much. Could do better with friends, but this is all I got left. When you turn 37, you go from like, in your 30s, you have like six friends. 
till you're 33, then you have like three friends, and then you're 37, you have one friend, you're down to one. But it's better to have a couple quarters and a pocket full of pennies is what I say. Just get one solid quality friend. I got two solid colored friends, but down to one today. How many friends you got, babe? She's got none, because she's almost 40. So you no, got 37, I, have, I got one. I have one, I have one. I have Maria. And Jody. I have it's just tough when you, you get married and have kids. Yeah, you get married and have kids, you don't have time to like, sorry, ear infection, sorry, up all night, you know, things like that. I got no fucking friends. I don't want fucking friends, okay? I don't want to be a fucking friend, okay? I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on, call me for the Sopranos, call me for the next Goodfellas, call me for, you know, whatever mob. Listen, email address, I'm gonna put it in the description. Email me, okay? I'll give you my little movie reel or my movie roll. What do they call that? Promo roll? Whatever actors use. I'll put some shit together. It'll be my greatest hits. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Oh, you want some spare change? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even Italian. I am Italian. The lady that spray tanned me after she saw my naked body says, oh, so you're Italian. I said, what? This is my dick. <laughs> We're going all the way to the fucking end of the fish. Holy shit. I've never seen that part of Long Island in my life. That's a fucking tip. Oh shit. I should have brought three meals. Oh my god. Show them how you eat a french fry. How about chicken? Or a piece of chicken. Chicken ketchup. Oh, mm. wow. so good. So great. <laughs> Healthy meal. It's Mermaid 1994. Mermaid 94. 94. 94. Thank you. Coach said to cut the carbs in half, so that's what we're doing. Bro, a little half and half. What do we say, road to? To 285 pounds? 285. <laughs> bro, 285 would be crazy. I'll die. Yeah, literally. I'll die, bro. That would look so bad at 285. So, my daughter is a real MVP. It's her six month birthday, and she hasn't cried not once today. She's so good, man. Yo, what? 
Board now or never. <laughs> That'd oh, bro. be cool. Yeah, everything, bro. Dad items. Cutting board, grill, tongs. So, can we start with the jersey first? Yeah, whatever. Let's start out of order. Let's go jersey first, short second. Well, I think we should just start with first, we just want to wash the tank. What's that mean? We want. To, we don't want this in there. Yeah. Can we? Is there tank. any way we could swap the tank top for a hat? Absolutely, but the tank is like doesn't make sense because this is virtually a tank. You know what I mean? This is the Protect this is a sleeveless shit. We don't need two sleeveless shit. Yeah. So I said, get rid of the get rid of the tank top, keep the jersey, swap it for a snapback. Minimal text for the now or never writing. What's or minimal text? This one. Um, minimal text. Is this? So. Do we have the minimal text? No. Okay. Um. This. Yeah. Like I would like this. Just like, drop this down so it's like now or never bottom line is never i really love that in fact this even will look cool as a tombstone even if we have a skull or something you know which i'm surprised he hasn't got that crazy because most of his designs see but i like that what i said yeah yeah me too and that's what drew drawn me to him as a yeah. designer in the first place number three for the reasons of the logo across the back is sick. And the New York City is sick. You like the New York City? I do. I love that. I'm going to say the logo across the back with the New York City is sick. Ooh. We should use this for on the chest, dude. Why hasn't he put that on the chest? Well, that's what I'm going to tell What's happening on the chest? What's happening? What's happening? What are you gonna get? Where is she? Can you get me those microwavable red potatoes in the pouch? It's in the plastic pouch. You know, like the ones I bought last time. You're like, nah, it's in plastic. Those were good. All right, shorts. You're in charge. Mm -hmm. This is your realm because this is your idea. With you're very in tune with the uh, basketball short. So my thoughts here are: this is great. I would change nothing here. Yeah. I would change nothing here. Yeah. I would just add the secondary logo to the black shorts. That's it. What secondary logo to the black this. shorts? To the black shorts. See, I think we make all the shorts the same. You know? I like more minimal. I know you do. That's why we're good partners. Because it's like a yin and a yang, bro. But then again, look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a fucking Vans hat that doesn't even say Vans. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. It's like, so that's minimal too. Sweet. Okay. Just going right away. Oh, you're 